This is my phone. The battery is really bad on it, so I'm gonna replace it. You get to watch me slowly spiral into insanity while fighting the adhesive on this phone. And by this phone, I mean my main working phone. If I mess this up, I don't have a phone anymore. So, I ordered a battery replacement kit for my Fix-It, along with new back glass because I want to do something special with it. The clear back mod. In the box, there was... I forgot about this t-shirt. There's the back glass here, an invoice, and then another box. Inside of it, there's more black boxes. The first one is the tools, which is part of the kit that I ordered. The second is the actual battery, and the third is some more repair tools. Then I spent way too long trying to get this tiny spacer out of the bottom of the box. Oh, there's also some cool stickers. Inside this box, there are these basically guitar picks, which are great for getting in small spaces, and this eye opener thing. You heat this up in the microwave and help soften the adhesive by melting it a little. In the other toolbox, there's a bunch of, well, tools, like spudgers, screwdrivers, and tweezers. In the parts box, it comes with the battery, new adhesive for the back glass, some more adhesive strips, and this dropper to apply isopropyl alcohol, if my camera can focus. There's also some cleaning things. So, this is the whole kit. It's pretty much everything you would need to prepare the phone. Kind of. You'll see what happens. So I powered down my phone, I took one last look at the back glass, and was ready to take it apart. First I microwaved the eye opener thing in the microwave for 30 seconds. This is supposed to help loosen the adhesive by heating it. While I was waiting, I pulled up a battery replacement guide on iFixit. This isn't sponsored, but they have some pretty decent detailed tutorials. After a minute or so, I took off the eye opener. Put a suction cup here, then you pry. Not like that. Not like that indeed. Turns out the suction cup they provide is really bad. It barely suctions. In the videos I watched, it seems like the suction cup worked, so I decided to add more heat instead. Anyway, I think you can guess what happens next. The suction cup didn't work. I wanted to continue heating it up as well, because even with the suction cup, the glass and phone should still separate, but it's not budging. Now that it's heated up even more, I tried one last time with the suction cup, then got another one from a different repair kit. Alright, so after watching the Jerry Rig Everything tutorial, it said to go at the bottom instead of the side. So I'm gonna try that. Yeah, it's still not budging. Take a guess, it's not even close. So I tried using the box cutter. I know, it's not ideal at all, but the blade on this was really thin, just like the knife that the professionals use. After a while, I made some progress. I shattered in the glass. I know, that might seem bad, but you don't understand. I was so happy that I was moving along at all. At this point, I also put on some, I guess, gardening gloves, because I don't want glass in my hand. Look at this, just, just cutting the adhesive like that. Slicing away at it, so don't go too deep because you don't want to slice any like ribbon cables or antennas or anything. I think this is a good time to mention that I don't recommend trying this at home. I'm clearly not a professional. So I kept trying, slowly making progress, cutting away the adhesive, and of course backing up the shards of glass, all while losing more and more of my sanity. And now, well, the phone speaks for itself. <coughs> well, it's been through some stuff. I cut away the last of the adhesive and finally got the back glass off. And look at that, the insides. I cleaned it up and started taking it apart even more. I unscrewed the middle part which has some of the sensors and wireless charging and NFC coil in it. It was time to take out the battery. I put a few drops of isopropyl alcohol behind it which dissolves the adhesive. I also did a little of this for the back glass. In the tutorial, it says to use this special card that can cut the adhesive, but mine didn't come with it. So I used this thicker paper card that came with the kit. That didn't work. I tried the sweater. That didn't work. So I added more alcohol. See, it's really tough to pry the battery because the opening is so small. So if you dissolve the adhesive, it's much easier. Not only does it dissolve the adhesive, but it also evaporates really quickly. So it's perfect for this job. You also don't want to pry too much because the battery could catch fire if it's bent too far out of shape. I went back to prying the battery away. I ended up using this plastic spudger from a different kit. iFixit was made out of too soft plastic. One more thing, do not use metal tools. If you do and you slightly puncture the battery on accident or on purpose, it's game over. It will catch on fire. After a while, I finally got the battery out of the phone. I also want to take some time to point out this little black area under the battery. This apparently is where fragile components for the screen are, and if you poke it, your screen can just die. That's why you should pry from the edges more. So I scraped off the old adhesive and got out the new battery. I set it in the phone without gluing it in, just so I can make sure it worked. The phone did boot up, and you might need to reinstall that middle section temporarily just to get it to turn on. Anyway, I added some strips of adhesive to the sides, avoiding the black cutout area, set the battery back in, and reconnected it. I put the middle section back and screwed it in, then got working on the back glass. The way this is painted is interesting. It's like a massive adhesive strip again. It's done like this to keep all the glass together when it shattered, kinda like what happened to me. It more or less stayed in one piece. It's actually not too hard to peel off. 
I made sure to use some tools that didn't scratch the glass and was able to get a good peel going. I also kept dropping some alcohol on this as I went along. Then I grabbed the camera glass, which I had to peel off of the old back glass, and added some adhesive strips to that. I pushed that in the back glass and there we go, it's done. I applied the pre-cut adhesive to the phone and pushed on the back glass, being careful to properly align it. And now, the phone is done. I think the phone turned out perfectly. While I would like to see more of the PCB inside, kind of like this J-Rig everything teardown skin, I still think it's kind of cool. It's a really unique mod, and if you're already inside your phone, you might as well try it. You just might want to get a backup back glass in case it doesn't work out. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. Thanks for watching.